Trevor from Just Enough Design here, and today we are talking about blobs. So you may have noticed in a design that you've seen a really nice flowing element coming from the side or behind a particular piece of text. Uh, you can either try to draw this yourself or use existing elements, but if you want from something like Canva, but if you wanted to kind of play around with it yourself and make your own and have a nice SVG or a very scalable image that you can use, there's actually an excellent website for this. So you would go to blobmaker.app. So free website, free app online, super simple to use get myself out of the way here so you can see the color so very simply you just choose the color that you would want you choose the complexity how many points it's going to have how sharp and how many uh, shapes you're going to see and then you go ahead and download now you can just keep keep hitting random and get yourself a bunch of shapes now in hitting download this downloads as an svg or a scalable vector graphic so when you include it into something like powerpoint or uh, Google Slides or Canva, you can scale it as much as you want without losing quality and even change the color. So what does that look like? Let's hop over to Canva. And here we have a very flat, straightforward business card. What if we were to add a little bit of style, a little bit of the shapes that we had just created? So even from the, the back, it adds this kind of nice waviness to it. It has a bit of flow and interesting parts. You can scale that up, for instance, and even have it kind of go into the back. Now, as I mentioned, because it is an SVG, you can go in and use Canva's built-in color chick picker, uh, picker <laughs> for that matter, and choose whatever color you would like. In addition, you can go ahead and make it softer if you don't want it to be really yelling, and move it all around. So creating kind of a little bit of interesting visual in the back, something flowing, uh, something to break up the plain backgrounds. Works too for your Instagram posts, for instance. If we, again, go to these uploads, let's add a couple. Uh, let's help that text be contained by putting this into the corner. If you're adding a quote or just wanted to encapsulate some shape and kind of create a sense of fluidity, uh, movement, almost like softness. Let's go ahead and add a second blob that I had downloaded then uploaded to Canva. And same thing, we can add, just shove it in the corner and kind of create this nice pattern throughout. And again, you can choose these, change it to whatever color you want, play with the transparency. Lots of great options. And true to for presentation. So if this is, you can do this obviously in Canva, but if you're in Google Slides or PowerPoint, same thing, SVGs, you can move them wherever you'd like. So in this case here, let's go ahead and put that to the back. And let's have it kind of peek out from between, from behind the photo there, but go off screen. And you know, we can even add just a little extra blurb up there in the corner to add a bit of fluidity. So a simple little site, but it's wonderful, it's free really nice to use uh, lots of little options and a cool little design element that you can work into your designs to give it a little bit more visual punch and interest so cheers to your next blob and cheers to your next great looking design bye